YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you to everyone that keeps coming back for week in my life living in Dubai. I just thought I'd put my camera on because it is about eight in the morning and I wanted to capture. Typical, now that I've put my camera on, they've stopped. But I wanted to show you how noisy it is with the new construction work that is going on. Typical, it's stopped now I have to put my camera on. But basically, I live here in JVC and I feel like I got so lucky. The first year of living in JVC, I was like, I swear, like it's so quiet, way more quiet than Marina, can't hear the road, so that's good. But in January, they started working on this new plot of land that I'm looking at right now. And I'm looking there now, there's loads of like construction vehicles, they're literally like drilling into the ground. Um, and I just can't wait for this stage to be over, to be honest, because they they don't rest. Like, it's, it's 8 a.m. and they'll be going till 7 p.m. Seriously. Anyway, it was really noisy drilling. I'm gonna leave the window open a little bit so that when it starts again in a minute, you can hear it. Not that I'm complaining. I do still like JVC, but I'm just giving you a little real insight into what it is like. And yeah, there was another bit. There was another building that they literally built last year, and we watched it completely just transform this building. Um, well, just appear, materialise, basically. And it wasn't noisy, so I think it's just in like the initial stages of maybe when they're laying the foundation. I literally know nothing about construction, so I'm not going to pretend I do. But I think in the initial stages, that must be the noisy stage. Oh, anyway, I'm just gonna enjoy my cup of tea and have a chat with you all. I'm drinking a Brew Society Organic Reboot Tea, which I enjoy very much. It's one of my favourites from Brew Society. I've actually been awake a good two hours. <laughs> I woke up at like 5.45, I swear. Um, I just can't sleep in. I just can't. But I love the morning. I've been on a real creative flow this morning, actually, and I've been making loads of notes about something that I think you guys will really like. In fact, I'll tell you about it now, but... It is going to take a few weeks, so just bear that in mind. It's not going to be an instant thing. So, as you know, I'm always making content about... That's the noise that I'm talking about. Wait, I hope you heard that. But anyway, that's the noise. <laughs> anyway, um, as you know, I'm always giving you loads of content about what it's like to live in Dubai. And most people come to my channel... Sorry, I'm just going to shut that door, actually, and shut the window because... You've heard the noise now, so <laughs> you've heard the noise. Um, yeah, most people come to my channel asking me questions about how to move to Dubai. I know this, and I do my best to answer you all the time. Um, and I'm happy to do it because I love Dubai so much, and I love living here. And I always joke that I should work for Dubai tourism or Dubai literally government recruiting people to be here because I moved six years ago and then a lot of my friends followed me out here, three of my closest friends. Um, and people have, you know, come up to me in the, in literally in the supermarket and in the street and said, oh, your videos really helped me with my move to Dubai. And I'm like, great, that's really good. And it's kind of inspired by a comment. Someone left me a comment the other day and said, you should make a playlist of all the content, which I am gonna do. But like, I feel like we need to put everything, literally, everything every single question that could possibly have been asked and trust me there's always more questions I, I i always get questions and i think to myself oh yeah i forgot to mention that anyway so what i've been doing this morning is compiling literally the biggest most comprehensive guide to live it to moving specifically to dubai for people that don't like have a job yet or just are completely starting from nothing and that want to move and I'm gonna just put everything in one place. And like, full disclosure, I'm obviously gonna charge for it, but it won't be expensive. I'm thinking it should be about $50, which is about 180 dirhams, which I think is a banging deal. Um, and I'm just thinking, how much more convenient is that gonna be to have everything in one place? Sorry, my hand's like getting tired. <laughs> and I just wanna make it like super easy. And I wanna make it like literally like a course, because I do courses in social media management and I've had such good feedback on those courses, the format of it, the way you can just, you know, it's all separated into modules, it's all separated into lessons, there's actionable tasks for every single one. 
So I just feel like I've not really seen that exist, but I would have found that so helpful when I moved to Dubai. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm hoping that sounds like it's of interest for some people. Um, Cause yeah, like obviously I can do what I can in all the videos, but ultimately there's so much more advice that I can give. I, I know it and I've helped so many people that I know personally with this. So yeah, I was just feeling really creative this morning and I just started, made, started making loads of notes already. So that's quite exciting. I think it's gonna take me a while though because it's a lot of content to record. So let's say timeline of at least, I don't know, a month. Um, maybe three weeks if I can literally power through it. Um, let's see. But anyway, it is Monday. I'm having my cup of tea. I'm going to yoga. You can see I've got my Adenola set on already. I'm going to yoga this morning and it's the Ashtanga yoga class where we always practice headstands. And you know what I was thinking? I am close, but I'm not there yet. What I was thinking that I would love to be able to do is perfect my headstand. Well, not perfect, but be able to do it. <laughs> in three weeks time i'm setting myself that goal because in three weeks i'm going to sri lanka and we're staying at a yoga and surf b and b and there's going to be loads of yoga to be done and i would love to be able to go there and just be able to stand on my head i don't know why i've set myself this goal but it's just a personal goal of mine at the moment to be able to do a headstand yeah i'm super excited for our sri lanka trip that's happening in um, there's a public holiday coming up here in Dubai for the end of Ramadan and that is Eid. It starts, what day does it start? I actually can't remember off the top of my head, but it's like the second week of June. So that's very exciting. Anyway, so I'm doing yoga this morning. Then I'm actually going to a dance class pretty much straight afterwards, which I don't normally do in my schedule, but my schedule's a bit out of whack this week because my sister's coming to visit. So I need to basically use my... Um, credits at this dance studio otherwise they're just going to expire so I thought you know what I'll just do the Monday morning class why not um, and it will be fun I, I have fun when I go to these dance classes so even though it's not my usual one I'm sure I will have a good time so I'm doing that that's at 10 um, and then it's just going to be an afternoon working from home and I do have a couple of client calls to do um, what else do I have to do yeah I just want to work on this new project now the one that I was telling you about I'm also baking a loaf of sourdough today, ready for my sister's arrival in two days, because I'm actually out all day tomorrow. And when you bake a loaf of sourdough, you kind of need to, like, it requires your attention. Like, I already fed my starter at 7 a.m., so in a few hours when the starter is nice and active, that's when I can start to make the dough, and then you need to fold it every hour, and you need to let it rise, and it's just quite a big commitment, like you do need to be at home all day, so I thought since I'm kind of having a work from home day, I'll just make a nice sourdough. Did she ask for a sourdough? No, but I just want to make one, I don't know. I'm also making sourdough hot cross buns which is gonna be a new thing for me because I've not done them before. So I just had to do a little mini Kibson's order to get some sultanas and things. So that's arriving this afternoon. And what else is going on? Yeah, it's just a work from home day today, like I said. And uh, tomorrow I'm recording an episode of my podcast. And then, yeah, Wednesday evening is when Edie arrives. So that this vlog is gonna be jam packed. We have got so much going on this week. Like I'm already kind of exhausted, but it's gonna be great. I'm super excited. Anyway, I'd better go to my yoga class now. Okay guys, sorry if it's a bit noisy. I've got all the windows open, but I just wanted to show you my bubbly sourdough starter, which is about to go in the bowl. Ooh. So we need 80 grams. Ooh. There we go. A bit over is fine because I like it very sour. Yum. Okay, I've made my dough and now I've just made some um, lunch. I'm having my apple cider vinegar and water. And I've had I've got some leftover of this. Oh, it's so good, this cream cheese. Um, I've just got a little bit left over, so I'm going to have it with some carrot sticks, and I've made a salad. And yes, I just eat it straight out of this massive salad bowl, um, which I know is a serving bowl, but it's just so good to like toss the salad in it, and then, and then I just eat it straight out of here. So this is my lunch today, guys. The state of the kitchen. I'm not. A, I'm not a 
tidy um, <laughs> baker, chef. <laughs> but anyway, this is my um, hot cross bun dough, which is just kind of going through its rising process. The sourdough loaf is pretty much ready. I don't have the fancy basket, so we're just improvising. Um, that just needs like a, an hour or two more. Then I'm doing, sorry, this is so messy and unesthetic, but this is um, candied fruit peel. Uh, Kibson's didn't have any, and I thought, I've got oranges, I've got lemons, so I'm doing it myself. I'm doing it myself. Anyway, so this is gonna all um, get baked tonight. I've just been having a great time doing all that whilst listening to the Mamma Mia soundtrack, which was just so fun. Um, and I've had my dinner now. I had soup and a protein shake. And my hack for making soups more filling is to just put beans in them. Um, I had one of those sole soups um, that you can get at Kibson's. I had one of those for dinner, which was nice. And I think I'm gonna go on a little walk this evening and start editing one of my YouTube videos. And my flatmate's still out um, with her family. So just gonna cozy up on the sofa, probably FaceTime Connor and just chill. That's my Monday evening. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Guys, we just recorded a really good podcast episode. I didn't vlog it because I was too busy getting the actual content, but um, it was great, honestly. What? Yeah, this podcast episode that's gonna be live soon is honestly so good. It's all about work-life balance, curating a life that is aligned to what you want. So excited for you guys to listen to this episode. Jess is kindly giving me a lift home now, so <laughs> I'm pretty knackered. You know when you're like talking yeah. and you're just like, whew, Your brain just presenting. Yeah, definitely. And I'm hungry as well, I'm gonna have an early dinner. Guys, I barely, well, no, I, I was gonna say I barely vlogged, I didn't vlog today, Wednesday, because I just had a life admin day, I was working, um, I went to the gym, but one thing I did want to tell you was that I went to do a in-body assessment at my gym, which I get included in my membership once per month, and I mean, it's nothing that fancy, but it basically tells you your body fat mass versus muscle, etc. It's just like a really good way to weigh yourself because obviously weight can fluctuate so, so much. So um, I just do this once a month to give me an idea of where I'm at. And today um, was a month since I last went. So I thought I'll go get that done. And I've lost three kilograms of fat since, of all fat, no muscle has been lost since last month so I'm very pleased with that although before I even went to do it I was just thinking to myself you know what no matter what it says I feel great so I don't mind but it was really amazing especially to see the visceral fat be reduced because that's now in the healthy range for the first time in I don't know when since I've ever measured it um the past few years and I'm so relieved to have, have kind of um lost that because there are health implications that can come from having too much visceral fat that's the fat around your organs so i'm feeling that's a big win let's celebrate together guys i'm so happy um and yeah like i've, I've said to you already just feeling good and follow along on the youtube channel for more info that's like the group chat thing by the way just in case anybody like what you're talking about i'm already on your channel the instagram thing anyway why i don't know if i seem tired i feel like i'm so tired and with good reason i don't normally stay up this late in fact what am i, am I saying stay up i've literally i fully went to bed at 8 30 pm to get a few hours rest before getting up at 11 30 again and it is now 11 what time is it now it's about 11 25 and in five minutes, I'm going to set off to the airport to go and pick up my sister who's arriving. I've just been trying to like wake myself up a bit because honestly, oh, I'm so tired. I'm probably gonna be like, oh, asleep in the taxi. I seriously feel so tired, but it's okay, we move. Going to go pick up Edie, she's just landing. She had a bit of a stress. Um, it sounds like getting to the airport, but luckily she made the flight, so all good. And yeah, she's on a, British Airways flight, I've been tracking it, it's just about 10 minutes delayed, so I'm gonna aim to get to the airport. I think she'll get through really quickly, so I'm gonna aim to get there pretty soon after she touches down, and I'll update you guys, I'm so excited. Here she is, she's making herself at home. <laughs> oh hey, welcome to my crib. Well, it's actually oh. my crib, but welcome Edie. Good morning, Does guys. anybody remember, um, Edie from the other vlogs. I'm if sure not, they do. Link on the screen here. Mallorca <laughs> vlog. My debut. <laughs> that 
wasn't your debut. No, but that was, was in, a, that one. That was when you're like. That was like a really good. That one. was when you established yourself as an internet personality. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I literally came into the house yesterday and I was like, oh. Mace was like, what's up? And I was like. I just need to be an internet personality. And I agree, she does. I'm sure everyone watching would support you if you started a YouTube channel. So maybe I will. Maybe it's about time. Maybe. Um, but anyway, the point at hand right now is the HCB. Yes, let's show everyone. So basically, um, being so extra and just with a love of hosting and making things um, from scratch, I decided <laughs> no one asked, me. but I have an apron. It's right here on the door. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Shall I put it on? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, because we can cut. We can cut! cut. Beep. A bit of like flour on you, do you know what I mean? Very like hallmark. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Eyes, right, here we are. Um, I've just prepared some. Wait, you can do that so that you can see. Oh, what so we I can see. <laughs> Great, brilliant. So. Hey everyone, I have just prepared us some homemade hot cross buns, also known as HCB mm. among friends. <laughs> just for um, when you're typing so quick and you need that. I'm in my sourdough era, so this is my sourdough she looks loaf beautiful. that I made for Edie's arrival, um, just to be prepared, because I love an excuse to make a loaf of sourdough. I also made a, a loaf for Jen and George's birthday. No one asked. No but, one asked, but we needed it. But it's needed. Um, so I'm about to make us some... Um, oh, and the butter, and the butter. Yeah, and I've also done a homemade vegan butter because they put toxic seed oils in a lot of vegan butters and vegetable oils. Like, we just don't want that. This is basically just coconut oil and olive oil mm -hmm. and a bit of flaxseed oil emulsified with miso paste and nutritional yeast and a bit of salt and that's literally it so super that's clean, it. super clean um just put it in the freezer for like an hour but anyway i'm gonna have a big one i think and Edie's i'm gonna one have a little one yeah so yeah let me fix your plates and let's do a taste test but yeah you can um do 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 do, <laughs> do, do you do, can do, tell do. everyone about your life and who you are if you want and you're so for anyone <laughs> I don't know where to look there. Yeah. Yeah. So, good morning everyone. For anyone who wasn't, is new here or new to me, I'm Maves's. I even, the, even the fruit peel is homemade. Like, I didn't buy candy fruit peel. I candied it myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> this is what working from home three days a week does to Yeah. Like. Um, Honestly. Anyway, I'm Mabes' younger sister. I'm 21. I live in London. I study media. Yeah. What else is there to know, really? Yeah, that's it. I, we grew up together. Yeah. Now she lives in Dubai. Yeah. That's basically it. Ooh. Whoa. I hope the bus is good. I've not tried it yet, so this is a first for me as well. It looks good. Have you ever had a freshly baked HCB? No. No. I've always just had a... Regular. It got caught in the toaster, so one bit slightly <laughs> burnt HCB. Let's go try them. So exciting. Do you want coffee? Do you want anything? I kind of want a coffee, but yeah. do you have anything caffeinated? No. Um, I have that dirty... That... <laughs> <laughs> I have this one that Dad got me for Christmas, it's quite nice. Okay, just because I thought you didn't have anything. This has um, lion's mane, chaga and tremella in it. So okay, let's try that. Yeah, I'll have one as well, it is nice. Great. Shall I go in yeah, here? Yeah, you can just, yeah, make yourself at home. Shall we do? Yeah. Really, I hope So. So, first impressions. Smells like a HCB. It's very round. <laughs> it's warm. Cross is not that defined, but as we were discussing before the camera was rolling, they probably put bleach in the flower to make the cross defined, so. Yeah. So. So. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Fruity. Mm-hmm. 
Have you had one before? Mm-hmm. Mm. But not with butter. Very good. Mmm. Mm. There you go. Do you want a toy milk in your coffee? Mm-hmm. Sourdough. Hot cross bun, who knew? Sourdough your life. I do. People of the world. <laughs> <laughs> every boy and every girl. <laughs> oh, this is what it would be like if we had a joint YouTube channel. Maybe we should. I don't know if I could make a YouTube like, cause I'm not a YouTube watcher, you know. Okay, that's I'm not fine. like a YouTube person. Yeah. Okay, that does make sense. That's part of it a little bit. Like, how can I understand my audience? I do like watching YouTube. You're a zillennial. I'm joking. Thoughts on the butter? It's really nice. And normal butter. Do you think? Okay. I think cool. so. Yeah. Do you not think? But like, when it's melted into a mm. bread. Into a HC boom. There she is. So today, we're going to Peaches and Cream Beach Club. Top tip. On the Palm de Mira. It's 100 days. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Like, whoever said Dubai has to be expensive, I'm here to boot them on because I have no money. No, we're, we're making use of some good deals today. Yeah. And we're actually going to a restaurant um, as a PR invite, which is great because they kindly invited me for free and I'm bringing Edie along with me tonight. So we'll show you. It's and it's a restaurant, like Italian restaurant. Love. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. So we'll update you when we're dressed and ready. Yeah, we need to do some, this week we're going to have it all. We're going to have get ready with me. Mm. Like, I want multiple videos out this week as well. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I've got a list on my phone of TikToks that I want to do. Amazing. So stay tuned for the content. We're literally a content powerhouse when we're, we're together. Literally, and if you were like, like... imagine two of me. If you were like, I want to live like Mabel Gordon, but I'm bro. <laughs> I'm here. Because I've been doing that since I was about 10 years old. So, <laughs> never fit. Stay right there, I got chill. Bye. Chill mode is on. <laughs> We've just arrived at Peaches and Cream, which is this lovely beach club. It's not very busy actually at all. We've got one of the front sun loungers, which is lovely, and the view is just amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. So that's the Burj Al Arab with the curve, yeah. Yeah, they love it around there. <laughs> and then you see the, the like building to the right of it that's got like the slope. That's like a famous hotel, Jumeirah Beach Hotel. And then you can obviously see the Burj Khalifa in the background as well. I see just a yacht going by, paid actor. So yeah, this is our setup for the day. And today I'm wearing this, um, Top shop little beach cohort that's actually new. I just got it on Namchi actually. And then this beautiful new necklace, which is by a brand that's name I've forgotten, I'll have to check. Anno e Ego Easter or something like that. Um, it is really nice, yeah, I know, I'll check right now. Yeah, look at this food. There's my cauliflower that I'm so excited for, and my roasted veg with a nice view, Let's sit in the shade and have some nice lunch. Well, obviously we had to take a lot of cute Instagram pics because just had to. Hey. We've had a really good day here. Really good. Didn't really vlog that much. I vlogged the lunch, but- This is a hidden gem. It is a hidden gem. Like it's such a good deal and it's not busy. Um, it's a Thursday, so yeah, it I is a good- I love the Yeah, it all looks amazing. Like the water's blue. Service is good, food is good, just good vibes, really loved it. But yeah, we've just like been laying in the sun. Um, you've caught the sun, I've caught the sun as well, as well, to be fair. Yeah, we are now, the plan of action is to now go to the salon. Edie's getting her nails done and I'm getting my hair done before we go to dinner. So that's quite a nice little pre-dinner treat. <laughs> and yeah, nice way to round off the girls day. So we're gonna go shower and head to the salon. She's getting her nails done. <laughs> Love it. What? <laughs> so true. This is Edie's first Salon Dubai experience. Yay! <laughs> my hair 
is done. I just put on a little bit of makeup. And I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm ready. Ready, just waiting for Edith to get her nails done. Then we're going for some dinner. Okay, so it's now time to walk down the steps in JVR, and we've already put our heels on, which was kind of a stupid idea but we're literally yeah literally stone cold sober and yeah we're walking down these steps um and we're literally just going over the road like it's so close so we're just gonna walk um to the intercontinental yeah it, it says it'll take us eight minutes but i think it'll take us about three minutes actually at your pace maybe about ten minutes <laughs> we're now on the streets of JBR Marina area. We're just going to walk through the tram station to get to the Intercontinental. The content starts now. You're so right, Eid. So, we made it to Papa's. Seven minutes Seven after minutes. our res, which is absolutely fine. Look how cute it is in here. And they've got the little fear, I know. It's like That's, mum's wedding. It's literally like mum's wedding. See, this is cool. This is a new one. Um, little it's like shopping it's called so much trouble they invited me here as well we'll have to come one time yeah So now I'm feeling a bit more Dubai. And we're having another girls' day. Yeah, we are. The girls' day today is including a beach afternoon. Well, it's like a pool party afternoon um, at a new venue. I actually showed the vlog this recently because I went with Georgia. So that'll be fun. It's kind of cloudy today. 
that's fine. But never mind. We got a lot be... of sun yesterday. You got a lot of sun I got yesterday, a lot of sun. so I'm actually quite bad. It's okay. Then we're going for a lovely dinner at Nobu, which we're very excited for. Everyone stay calm. Everybody stay calm. It's normal. It's not weird. <laughs> Totally normal. No boo Friday. No boo Friday. Spray tan. Then I've got a spray tan at 845. <laughs> We're going to be making TikToks today. Yeah. So, you know, when we said we make loads of TikToks, we, we did a, didn't do a single one yesterday. But, but we if you just... fail to plan, you plan to fail. Mm -hmm. And we didn't save any. Yep. Check yeah. yourself mm -hmm. out. Cool. So, we're just en route to the palm. It's going to take us another probably. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Mm -mm. But... But we've got you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay guys, we've arrived. You know the drama is never ending. It is a bit humbling. <laughs> but it's okay. We're making do with this view. One. You're wearing green. Yeah, but you're vegan. Oh yeah, okay. You're green on the inside. Yeah. No, fine. I'll be green and you're blonde. Please. True, okay, true. You wanna eat yours? No, you can't. No, it's not vegan. You, she's a man eater. <laughs> Hey everyone, the music is just poor, so I thought I'd give you a little update. That's how much you can be. Are you having a good day? I'm having such a good day. We it's so fun here. Yeah. The vibes are good, the music's good. Yeah. We the don't even mind that we don't have a lounger. No! Do you know what? I don't know if I can say what I said. No, I don't. <laughs> but the table kind of eats. Yeah. Because we're sat up That's already, slang for anything. good, by the way. Just, <laughs> just to translate what my 21 year old sister is saying. Yeah. Eat means like. Really good. Really good. And they keep bringing us, like, keep bringing us. Literally, they do not stop. They don't drinks. stop. I don't remember. I'm not ordered a tank in about an hour. I didn't order a single drink while I've been here. I ordered one. And then. <laughs> That's all you need to order. And they'll just bring you it again and yeah. again Yeah. No, it is good. I think it's good for a girl's day. It's good fun. Yeah, like, so. the clouds are kind of coming and going, but that's okay. We don't mind because we've got but a lot of sun. look at this view. Yeah, the view's nice. Like, it's just like a good vibe. Good for, like, young... Obviously, if you've got a lounger, it's great. Yeah. Like, if you, if it's I had a la lounger last time I was here and it was nice, but... Yeah not to say that we're not having a great time right now we're having a great time we've got the food also food's quite pretty good it's good yeah, it's good it's really good yummy i brought my own crudite yeah because i'm doing it's glucose scholar really 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 but what was i gonna say it's o beach but make it divine there you go yeah i guess it's comparable i think candy pants that's what their vibe they're going for for sure um but yeah no we're just enjoying some more prosecco and then we're gonna get ready here and go straight to nobu Hello everyone, we're in Hi the guys. taxi. We're outfit change. Outfit ch has been changed. We had a lovely day at the beach, be beach club <laughs> at W Palm. Mm -hmm. We got changed there. We and did. now we're heading just in a very short taxi ride, literally eight minutes or so, to the Atlantis, the original one. To Not where? Atlantis, real. To Nobu. To Nobu. Fellow viewers, 
I've never been to Nova before, so I'm really excited. Like, Woo! genuinely so excited. We're gonna film some TikToks. I want crunchy rice with tuna, and apart from that, I yeah. can see. I want miso soup. I'm just really in the mood for miso soup. So we're gonna get some nice vegan bits. We're gonna have a nice dinner, yeah. and to our girls' day, maybe a cocktail after. We'll see. When we Sorry. used to come to Nova, I'm being shaky. Sorry. When we used to come to Nova, when I first moved to Dubai, they had a ladies' night. I know, I know, I know and it was free as well. That's free. Insane. And you go and ladies could get three free drinks. Um and we'd always get lychee martinis. Oh, they were so the sweet. Lychee martinis. Yeah, oh, they probably gonna... do them. Um We might like two martinis. Lychee martinis and there was this like singer um like always singing with a guitar there. Nice. And it was yeah, it was if you're watching good vibes, this, yeah. So you Jamie, we remember. You were great. <laughs> but yeah, it was good vibes. The lighting martinis were flowing. And yeah. Just good vibes. But yeah, good vibes. food's always great. They have good vegan options. I've been to the Nobu in LA as well, and that's good. So yeah. I'm really excited. And always fun to go to a restaurant in the Atlantis, to be honest, because it's so stunning. Yeah, like it's, it's no, I'd say it's just like iconic. Like yeah, the Atlantis okay. Royal is stunning and beautiful. Yeah. The original Atlantis is just like kind of iconic. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's go. And where is Nobu by the beach? Nobu by the beach is in the Atlantis Royal. Okay, got, one. It, got, yeah. it, got it, got it, Yeah, which I also do want to go to. Um, it's on the list. It's on the list. It's on the list, next trip. Next trip. Water park what did we really do? Fun. Yeah, we did the water park. What else did we do? We did the water park trip one, like, yeah. first, a, a ever first trip. Your like, first trip to Dubai. Like 2019. Yeah, and then I, I swear we did something we did else here. Yeah, I probably. Don't the I don't know if we did come here with Dad, did we? No, we didn't with Dad. No. But with Dad, it was only like four days. We true. True, true, true. We're just heading into the Atlantis now. Okay. Shall we just ask? Hey now. Hey now. This is where dreams are made of. Yeah, of course. You're just in the vlog right now. Woo! Ready for nobs. Look at this amazing view, guys. It's right. <laughs> Vlogging away. We're on the lovely terrace. Lovely view. Do you have the spicy the moment? Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. And then this is the crispy rice and avocado which is so interesting we're having some lovely cocktails um this is a miso caramel cocktail and he's having a spicy mark yeah i mean it's not called that but it is spicy mark, yeah. then we have Edie's spicy tuna crispy rice which i feel like taste testing is imminent if you're a chronically online girl like me yeah <laughs> then you know yeah it's true I think most people watching are probably chronically online. <laughs> if you've ended up on the channel, <laughs> then you are chronically online. There's the crispy rice. Yum. Dip it in the soy. Yep. And then. Wait, you take the oh, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. I'm gonna just hide it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Is it unreal? Oh wow. yeah. Can't wait to try the Abo one. <laughs> Flagging. Look at this salad, it literally looks incredible. Okay, this is what do they call it? Tofu tabanyaki, I think, which looks lovely. All the food's been amazing. And then we're finishing off with some Oh. <laughs> oh I dropped it. Sorry. Probably 30 minutes. So yeah, just beautiful. This restaurant is so gorgeous. Like area. Wait, where do we even go? Look how beautiful. Guys, look how pretty the indoor of this bar is. Like this is one of the prettiest bars I've ever seen. It's so gorgeous. And then with this view, unreal. Wow, that is amazing. Really, amazing. really amazing. Well, guys, just in the 
no room for bathrooms right now. Just have to say what an amazing aesthetic this whole place is. It's so gorgeous, so impressed. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend to anybody. Um, honestly, amazing, amazing service, amazing vibe. Well guys, Aggie Lal, I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but Aggie Lal says in her book that some days we're biohackers and some days we're bio-slackers which means you just can't be perfect all the time. And I thought a nice thing to do while Edie was here would be to treat her to my fave little treat of a breakfast from Joe and the Juice. So that's exactly what I went and ordered for us. And look how nice this is. This little like Ramadan edition of their Joe and the Juice bags. Like that is stunning. Got us some vanilla iced lattes with soy milk. And I got us the sandwiches, although weirdly I couldn't find the vegan sandwich on the menu. It's like they've taken it off. So I ordered a mozzarella one and asked for it without the mozzarella. But I'm like, what's going on there, Joe? Weird. Got below deck on. We've actually booked dance class for this morning, which is so fun. Me and Edie both did dance when we were teenagers and stuff. So I thought, why not? Um, so we're going to go there in like 10, so in about 45 minutes. So first, it's just kind of breakfast time, relax time. And I've got to tell you about dinner last night. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Cannot recommend Nobu in Atlantis Palm enough because the, the restaurant location itself is just stunning. The terrace is beautiful, amazing views, amazing service. And here's the best bit, amazing vegan options. Like finally, it's so nice to go to a fine dining restaurant and see proper vegan food um, and just as much thought and care into the vegan food as it is into the like main menu. Honestly, I was blown away. The best thing we ate was probably the shiitake truffle salad. It was unreal. But so was the tofu tobinyaki. Um, honestly, just so many, so many amazing things that we ate. So yeah, anyway, um, we're gonna tuck into our Doing the juice. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Edie enjoyed a bit of a lay in and I enjoyed a bit of a not lay in. It's only nine. Yeah, I know, but I've been up since literally 5 30, so. <laughs> By the way, you toss and turn a lot. <laughs> but at least I don't snore any. Yeah. Yay. Um, anyway, I got you breakfast. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've also had a starter of broccoli because. Basically, I didn't have my normal breakfast in. You know how I always get my normal breakfast? Yeah. And I didn't have it in. Um, I'm a bit behind on grocery shopping. So then I just thought, you know what's a nice treat for us? Joe and the juice. And I've not had it in ages. I'm still having a protein shake though as well as normal and broccoli as normal. Um, but I just thought, you know what? I'm craving that avocado sandwich. It's so, so good. But if you can open them up and check that one of them's not got mozzarella in because yeah, I'll sure. be very annoyed if they've disregarded my note yeah but i don't know why they'd take it off the menu no but they're both the, i ordered the same That's thing crossed on vegan ah okay weird so i wonder why they've taken it off the menu weird anyway oh well we just did a dance class we are sweaty Literally. cardio dance Look they this. really said cardio go on then hi everyone Wait, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Yeah. We're rolling. Right. Look at us, we're full glam because we are going to Sushi Samba Woo! for lunch. Really excited. Which is also on the palm. I feel like we've done a lot of toing and throwing to the palm. To the palm. I know, wouldn't it be great if we just had a place on the palm? Stop <laughs> if anyone sexy. wants to buy me a present, I'm a size villa on the palm. Literally. But, but for now, for now, we're JBC girlies. Yeah, for now, we're taxing to the palm and update you guys on the way. Excited because we're kind of, we're stepping out right now. Stepping out. As we were yesterday. <laughs> we've been nothing but it's out. nothing but stepping out, but <laughs> we're the next um, will be more relaxed. We're meeting Chloe yes. as well. That's She's exciting. gonna join us for lunch, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And I had a little pre-look at the menu, because I do that every single place I go, obviously. Off. And there's some good vegan choices, so. That's good, yay. Oh yeah, it's a set menu, isn't it, so. So yeah, there's nice. like different starters and mains that you can choose, basically, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, should be all good, and we were just saying the sun's coming out. The sun's coming out. Um, Because it is meant to be a bit cloudy, and 
even rain on Tuesday, just FYI guys. But it's okay. It's okay. We, we, I've got too much sun already. It's alright. I'll see. Little here. bit pink, but okay. it happens to us all. Indeed. Right. Except me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, up we go in the St. Regis, going up to story 51. Oh, my ears are popping. Um, yeah, excited now. Ooh. Are you ready to samba? Are you actually ready? <laughs> I don't know if you're ready. <laughs> so, we're here. Yeah, wait, it's not focusing for some reason. Yeah, so. Hi guys. She's Are you even in Dubai? You don't go to Sushi <laughs> Literally. Woo! Look at this. Is that is it's quite amazing. It really is amazing. I'm never not amazed by this. Look, that's why we were walking yesterday. Um, not yesterday, did before yeah, yesterday. Perfect. Yeah. So gorgeous. Okay guys, ready. I can't even get over our table. It's so amazing. We have a view of Atlantis Royal over there as well. And then Burj, double Burj view, which is quite amazing. So excited. I, I need to take some photos of the tape. Yeah, for sure you do. Woo! And I'm gonna get this, sorry, I don't have a photo. Sure. And then the Samba Dubai roll. Well, yeah, when you're a YouTuber, Chloe, like, sorry, here she is, looking amazing. Chloe's joined us. We're having a little um, Amazonian spritz or whatever it's called. Edie's yeah. going for a, um, a mug. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, that's mine. Okay, that's the vegan one. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Is that the one that you got? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's that the lobster, lobster one. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so are those both yours, Chloe? Yeah. This is the Angus meat and the Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, okay, amazing. Yeah, it all looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I know, we're eating well, that is we're one thing so well. is that we're eating so well. Sorry Chloe, cameras eat first. Like, you're not, you're not meant to start until I get the content. today yet so far yeah. have we oh well um hi everyone we've had a relaxing day i just went to dance class mm -hmm. and you've just been chilling i've been chilling um, on the sofa now i'm making us a roast dinner which i'm so excited about um because i'm really going all out we've got a lovely looking mushroom pie filling that i've just whipped up this has oyster mushrooms shiitake button mushrooms and um coconut milk leek 
onion celery and then i've got the puff, puff pastry rolled out here which is going to go on top then we're doing some um carrots with date syrup kind of like sweet carrots um gravy gonna do some peas and then the potatoes are in the oven which i'm hoping will be delicious they're gonna have rosemary um so yeah that's what's happening for din very excited and jen and georgia are also coming around um for just a nice relaxing sunday i will be boiling boiling hot because it's just out the oven but hi girls joined us happy sunday sunday roast the potatoes look pretty incredible they do. so Thank you. yeah this is how we're doing it on a sunday chill sunday, Relax, sunday.